Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Triple B Collectibles. It is me, Bergy, coming to you a little bit late tonight. It's currently 9.32 p.m. It is Friday night. We had Friday night fights going on, and we actually sold out a break. You can see it says right there, the 1920-2021 Hockey 5-Box Mixer Pick Your Teams Group Break number TBC number 51. Sold out tonight. It is March 12th, 2021. I stayed around a little bit later for the guys and the gals out there, and I said, let's get her done. And they were like helped out, and everybody just chipped in. And we want to say a big shout-out to Diego T, because he came on to the last two teams, kind of, in a way. He bought the Arizona Coyotes and the Anaheim Ducks, two teams that nobody really ever wants to take, and he took them both. And so we'll give him the mojo luck on it, and everybody gave him a shout-out and chat and said, thank you so much for killing the break and getting that last team. Because, you know, it's the way it is. So I'm going to just go over the sheet real quick over here. And I'm going to show you the sheet. Who's got what? So Diego T, like I said, has got the Ducks. The Coyotes. Michael Enns with the Bruins. EJC with the Sabres. Michael Enns with the Flames. Chewy's got the Canes, Hawks, and the Avalanche. Robert B. bought the Blue Jackets. Chewy bought the Stars and the Red Wings. Sigget bought the Oilers. Diego T bought the Florida Panthers. <laughs> Excuse me. Calbro. Calbro bought the Kings. Michael Enns bought the Wild. Claude P. has the Canadians. And then Diego T brought the Predators. So as you can see, Diego T kind of came in tonight, and he, he really chomped on it, man. He hit it big. So Chewy and Sig and Diego, Cal Bros got the Kings, Michael Henry with the Wild, Cloud P with the Canadians, Diego T with the Predators, NHL Wild is the New Jersey Devils, Chewy with the Islanders, NHL Wild with the Rangers. Big expensive team, and I'm hoping that he, he gets something for it. Chewy, you got the uh, Senators, NHL Wild with the Flyers, Sig with the Penguins, Diego T with the Sharks, D Red Wings with the Blues, Diego T with the Lightning. Gary, you got the Leafs. David P with the Canucks. And Michael N with the Knights. And Merv7676 with the Capitals. And Chewy with the Jets. So that's what we got. Let's go over and open up these boxes. So we got five boxes. This is a five box mixer. And it's basically one box of 2021 Upper Deck Series 1. It is one box of Synergy. And it is three boxes of Clear Cut 1920 Hockey. And these three boxes are out of a master case that we know at least three of them out of the 15, there was nothing hit. So that's what I that's what I understand. So we have another five box break just like this in the store that is a random teams. So if these three boxes don't big produce anything really majorly big hit. Man, I would be into that three by the other five boxer, and then I got five boxes that I got sitting at the shelf on the store, and I'm going to go put them up as either a random teams or a pick your teams, and we'll go from there. So the other thing that I did offer you guys, and I said to everybody that was in chat tonight, that if you go hitless, I mean really, really hitless, and you paid like some big money in this stuff, I'm going to turn around and give you a little bit back on the back end. So maybe give you 500 points, maybe give you 10, maybe give you 1,000 points, you know, for helping out and getting things done. So I figure out what I can afford to do back at you. And if you spent a lot of money with me, I'll help you out in the back end. So the other thing cool is about it is that we have fight night. So every order that came in tonight got you with another spot on the fight night. So I appreciate that for that part there. So I'm just gonna go like this, like this, and like that. So they're all cut open. And I'm gonna start out with the NHL hockey. We'll put these two back here and we're gonna start out with this first. I will have to adjust the camera. I'm going to say good luck. Good luck. Move you guys back there. So synergy. That's what we got gonna go on. So I'm just gonna grab these packs out of here, put them like that, pack stack them like that. Pack stack like that. Empty box, as you see. Throw that there. And I'm just gonna kind of flip through these cards. Um, let me get my camera adjusted. So sorry. You can forward, fast forward through all this rigmarole and kind of goofiness that's going on, but then again, you know, it is what it is. Let's go figure it out. <laughs> And everybody's like, holy crap, Chewy, look at all the teams you bought. Yeah, Chewy bought some teams. So, <laughs> when Chewy was saying, come on, guys, help me out, help me out, let's get her done. That's the reason why. So, <laughs> uh, there was 23 spots as of, or maybe 22 spots were left in the random. So, here we go, guys. Good luck. All cards do ship, by the way. So, you will get all your base cards. Unless you're a customer that does not want your base, then you know I know who you are, and then we won't do it. 
Uh, and if you go hitless on your base, well, you know, that's... NHL wild card, Florida Panthers right there, Alexander Barkov, Finland. So that's a cool card. They make the card where it's actually a patch card. So uh, Florida Panthers, matter of fact, that's Diego T. First blood has been drawn by Diego T. So I'll kind of go a little slow with cards there. So Shet and Kirk. And then Matt Zuccarello for the Minnesota Wild, right? Yeah. Minnesota Wild, UD Portraits. There's Minnesota Wild on the board. Uh, that's uh, Michael N. So, and then Thomas Tatar, Tater Tot, Senan, and other Florida Panthers. So that's your base cards there. So then Cal, or, uh, Claude P, if you're listening right now, um, I just got contacted by Upper Deck about a card that we sent in for Ryan E, and I believe they're doing the same thing for me uh, that they did for you. They are shipping me a card because they wanted to know where they can ship the new card to. So Ryan E, if you're listening right now, you basically get the card that I got that you we, that was ruined, and you're going to get a new card from them. So he'll take clear cut base. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I <laughs> didn't Rangers. Yeah. Are you funny, Cal? You funny. <laughs> He'll take all three of them, right? <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, there's no base card. Sorry. Yeah. I, I love it when you guys correct me on stuff. You know, it's the, it's the best. <laughs> Jacob Church. Oh, Brock Nelson. Go get her done. Colin White. Get her better done. Uh, Wood. Or do it. Do Wood. There's a UD Canvas, Winnipeg Jets, Patrick Lyonet. He's no longer there. He's sitting down there in the other team. But Winnipeg Jets, that's Chewy who came in. There's Schmidt. We pulled a Schmidt autograph out of the clear cut the other night. The 15 boxes from Vegas. So, I don't know. You guys got to go watch my breaks, man. Go check out the breaks and make sure you check them out because I know I got more than 15, 16 customers. And when I only get six views on a break, I wonder who's watching the break and if you even care about it, you know, because you better care about what I'm breaking. And especially if you're trying to buy into it. And you'd be like, oh, wait a minute. What, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? There was three kings pulled. Or what do you mean there was two kings pulled out of that last case? You know, I'd be like, ah, hello, McFly. Take the 30 minutes and just fast forward to the end of the break because I usually show you cards. Sometimes, sometimes I don't. Though. Young Guns, Winnipeg Jets. There you go. Chewy, 2009. Michael uh, Brendan. Uh, probably butchered it. Sorry. I do apologize. No animals were hurt during the taping of this uh, broadcast. Checklist, Boston and the Washington Capitals. Capitals is Merv, and Boston is Michael. So that's a random between the two of them. Unless Merv comes on and says, Bergie, just give it to Michael. I don't need it. I don't really care because it's like a base card anyhow. So, And if we pull another one, then you both will get one. So, Philip Sedina. He's actually doing all right. Tarot Tara, Tara Vinen. I like that gold color. UC Saros. So, this is the French version of Yamamoto. So, that goes to the Edmonton Oilers. Kyler Yamamoto. He's actually not, he was not actually doing too bad. So, that's the French version base card. So, Edmonton. That's Sig. So, congratulations on that. Pearson on down the line. So, now I'm going to go a little bit quicker. We're just going to go look for that big fat hit. We're looking for those young guys. Come on, give us some young guys. One, two, three, four. Darcy Kemper, Arizona. That's Diego T. UD Portraits. I gotta ask you in chat, and I got a few of you watching me. How many of you would uh, would be angry if I s said for the series two hockey? Question is series two hockey, Minnesota Wild again. Look at this, Eric Stahl, predominant, Minnesota Wild, Michael N, 
Told you Minnesota Wild was going to be in this box. I knew they would be. They'd be they have all these little parallel cards. How many of you would be angry if I said no base is going to ship out of Series 2? For my break. Young Guns, Philadelphia Flyers, Igor Zamala. Philadelphia. And that pit hits in parallel. So, like for series one here, if you see the base would all sit at home. Basically, we do something with it here. Young Guns. And base would stay here. My other option is that my price would go up a little bit. And I would ship base, but I'm not going to ship it per team. I'm going to do random base to every care, every team that's out there. So I would just take the base cards and I would randomly give it to everybody after I figured out who had what. So, so I know some of you guys would be all good with it. Some of you'd be like, "Nah, you know, I want my base." You know, uh, the third option would be that I charge you for the base. So, and I don't, I don't, I don't want to charge you for the base because you already kind of bought it. So, and I'm trying to think of ways that I can keep the price down a little bit. So, Borberg. Um, and by not shipping base, it helps out on, on the cost. It really does, guys. So, And Cal's like, I don't need base. And I know Merv doesn't need base. I know that Claude P doesn't need base. You know, some of you guys don't need base. So, I mean, and I, I know some of you guys would like the base. So, you know, but. And it's like Diego T. He might want some base if he bought into something. So, but Philip Borberg, Oilers. But Sig, there you go. Yeah, Chewy, send it all to Merv. <laughs> That's like we used to say, send it all to Brad. Brad sees another one that doesn't want base, you know. So I think there's quite a few guys that don't want base. And, you know, my thing is that I can turn around and I can either give away packs to the kids in the store, which they love, you know. Uh, we can, Or we can give away team packs. You know, I'll turn around and make them into team packs. And then the kids come in and the wife will be like, hey, you know, you want a team pack? And Yeah, who's your favorite team, you know. Kyle Turris, Game Jersey, Nashville Predators, Diego T. There you go, Diego T, man. I'm telling you, you won tonight some points. You got a nice Kyle Turris card here. You got a little relic going on. So, man, you guys, it's all kind of just popping for you right now. It's it's good stuff. Helping out. Helping old Triple B collectibles out. Mm, nope, I can't go on that one, so I need my 100 point. I don't have any 100 points, so I'll get some 100 points tonight from the shop exactly coming to base sports cards I know that's what I was like Diego T you know no we'll send Diego T all the damn base <laughs> we'll send Diego T all the damn base Diego Diego T we get this big box from Bergie you'd be like what the hell is all this uh, wait a minute <laughs> We actually do send Diego T. We, we, I, I do like to send Diego T the goalie cards. So when you guys don't take your base out of stuff, like this stuff here, I'll send him the goalie cards because Diego T is a goalie guy, if you guys don't know that. He likes goalies. So NHL Worldwide, Patrick Kane, Chicago Blackhawks. There you go. You're on the board. Blackhawks. That's Chewy. So. I think for the last couple of years, I think I've sent Diego T almost all the different goalie cards. So for the different series, so this year we didn't break a lot of series one. So, but uh oh, we got a day. Oh, we got a debut. Oh, look at this coming. Sorry, I couldn't quite hear you. Could uh, you please repeat what you said? Hey Siri, shut the hell up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she she shut up. <laughs> you say? And boom, we got another. We got an NHL debut. Of Dominic Kubalik. There you go, Chewy. Boom. Relic patch. Relic patch. Kubu. Kubi. Kubi the man. Mm hmm. I need some 100 points, so I don't have any 100 points. There you go. Chew man. All right. Next stack, next pack. Going a little slow. My brain's on dumb, dumb juice, so. I wish it was on beer juice. One, two, three, four. And there is Vancouver Canucks. Holy Jehovah! What? That's a nice hit, Chewy, by the way. 
So a nice little debut dates, Relic. Vancouver Canucks, there you go, my friend. David P. You got yourself a little a little young gun rookie, defensive men. And you know what? They feed those defensive men good water up there in, in Vancouver. So they feed them good food and kale and and uh, water. So maybe, you know, it might turn out to be something. So, yeah, two jerseys in a box is really rare. Really, really rare. So, And ironically, this is six random boxes that I just bought from my distributor. So Ben Bishop for the Dallas Stars. Oh man, I thought that was a, I thought that was another patch card. I was like, I looked at this patch here, and I'm like, dude, is that a patch card? That's the coolest Coley patch in the world. My brain said, no, Bergie, no, it's just a Ben Bishop card <laughs> for Dallas. <laughs> Dallas Stars, Chewy. Exactly, Diego T. The the counter messed up. Ooh, look at there. There's Krill. For the Flyers in a in the alternate uniform because they didn't have a uniform to take the picture with right there, so um, I am out of foot touches or I mean out of sleeves. <sighs> Monster sugar free energy. Have yourself rock your teeth out, Bergie. That's the best. Yeah. Oh, excuse me on camera. Goaltender. You Timico. You use Tim Tim Timenko? Use Timenko or is it Stamenko? Krill Stamenko? They said his name the other day on TV and I was like, who is that guy? <laughs> what the hell? Flyers. NHL Wild. You're on the board with a young gun there. The practice uniform, yeah. I just call them the COVID uniforms because you know they don't have any colors anymore. They don't do anything, and they took them all with you know, you know. <laughs> she was like, "No, yeah, it's up there, practice uniform." Connor Granlin, Coyote. Oh, what do you know, Diego T? I know everything. I'm Bergy. I'm the breaker. Don't tell the breaker what he doesn't know. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> Shit. I'm just giving grief. Wow, another debut dates. Yeah, so that Capo Caco debut dates. Rangers. Wow, okay. That was the yeah. So two debut dates. One was a relic. So this was the one that should have been, and the relic one just kind of slipped in by accident. Rangers is uh, NHL Wild, so <laughs> Diego T's no, they skate really close to me. That's that's awesome, Diego. That's awesome. He knows. Come on, where's my boy? Is my boy gonna be in here? I, I'm, I'm really, I'm really kind of hoping. Quinn Hughes, not the one we're looking for, and not the other one we're looking for. We really want that Rangers hit. Come on. Alexis Laflinaire, you get it graded as a 10, and it could be coming back to you as a $1,000 card right now. So, if I pull one. Cabo Caco, Rangers, not the Ranger we want. It's funny, all these Cabo Cacos now pull out where last year you couldn't pull nothing for him. So, NHL Wild, we're down to four packs left, folks. And I'm thinking to myself, i got to count my young guns here. Wait a minute, did I... One, two, three, four. That could be five. So there might be only one more left in here, and it's in that bottom pack down there. So next one will have a Rangers, he says. Could it be? Could it be? And it's a Nico Heischer for the New Jersey Devils, though. UD Canvas. Devils. New Jersey Devils was NHL Wild. 
You can put these over here. I'll show the back end of that card there so you can see it real quick. Bing, 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 bing. There you go, little Nico Hayshare. Isn't he a handsome man? He's got a good haircut. Bergie needs that haircut. Oh, Grandpa B. My son seen me the other day and he looked at me and he goes, hmm. I go, yep, let my hair grow out. COVID. <laughs> And it is a Connor McMichael from the Washington Capitals was the last young gun. Maybe last young gun. So, God dang it. Connor McMichael, Washington Capitals, Merv 7676. There you go, sir. But you never know. We could have another one in here, but that that would be the sixth one right there because we pulled a young gun UD uh, UD canvas. So and but let's see one two. How about an acetate of Jake Ottinger? Acetate young guns for the Dallas Stars goaltender action. Dallas Stars, boom, right there. Chewy acetate young guns. Wow. Well, there's our sixth one, and it was an acetate. So we got seven, I believe, young guns all together. Plus two relic pieces. This is a damn hot box to a point, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a hot, yeah, exactly, Calboy, Cal bro. It was a hot box, man. I mean, this is way, and and then we got yeah and then we got another i believe another dominant predominant was kyle pomeri for the new jersey devils and i believe there should be three of these predominant maybe four so but yeah ottinger acetate one young gun connor mcmichael young gun we pulled a debut dates out of that box for chicago blackhawks dominic kubalik we pulled another relic, a UD game jersey, which usually comes per box, Kyle Turris. And then a young gun UD canvas of Zemelov, Zemela. And then Brendan, young gun for the Jets. And then a Borberg, defensive man for the Oilers. Not a great hit there. A Oli the Giovoli, defensive man for Vancouver. And then our guy Krill uh, Ustamenko, Ustamenko for the Flyers. So that was a series one box. And then you have your little hits there and you got your other mini hits over here. And like I said, this one here is a randomizer between the two of you guys. So we'll do that at the very end of the break. And then yeah, another debut dates by the way of Capo Caco. So, wow, a lot of plastic in that, uh, in that series one box. So Seriously, good hot box. Let's just put that over there. I'm going to pull the Synergy out. Let's go next one up. The Synergy. So I've already cut these here. Why didn't it cut there? So we'll do Synergy. Synergy, I will top load up numbers, but I don't know if I'll do the other ones. So My wife is at the shop. She's like, where are you at? <laughs> Here we go. Good luck. Synergy Hockey 2021. Collect all the metal cast for greatness cards. Three cards per pack. Not a lot in these packs. So but they, they, these cards, these packs, these boxes I buy in my store, folks. I get maybe six boxes. And they disappear in a matter of a couple days because people really like this stuff. Anzi Kopitar for the LA Kings. A exceptional young stars of William Nylander, 741 out of 749. Toronto, Maple Leafs, Gary, there you go, acetate. Nice Nylander for you. Gary M. And then a rookie of Liam Fonde for the Columbus Blue Jackets, a 598 out of 999. Oh, excuse me, folks, for if you hear that burp. Oh, goodness. Oof. Columbus Blue Jackets. Robert B. There you go, Robert B. And that one's a base card over there, but that's going to be shipped out, too. So. All right. Pack over there. Flip it over. 
And we have our rookie card of Ryan McLeod for the Oilers. McLeod, McLeod. Oh, look at that. It's all bent up on the bottom, dude. Check that out. Oh, man, that's bad. Send that one back to Upper Deck. Say you want a new card from them. They're actually just going to... You, you You guys send you send photos of this, and you complain to Upper Deck about this, and they will send you a new card. They'll probably send you just a brand new card of that. So, Exceptional Futures, 48 out of 4, 49. Ryan McLeod. Leod. So... Lodo, Lido, Lodo. There you go. Acetate Oilers again. Edmonton, that was Sig who bought the Edmonton Oilers. So kind of nice little pickup there for you. So Sig. Sebastian Ajo. Uh, consistent threats. Cool looking cards, like the Speedo cards. So. It's a McLeod pack. <laughs> exactly. Let's see if we can get a... Uh, hey, Ole Juvoli. <laughs> Ole, Ole Juvoli. You Levy. You Levy is how it's pronounced, I think. You Levy. So rookie card there. Very nice. And then we got an autograph right behind him of a rookie card from... Oh, my goodness. Did you see? Did you guys see what that was? I mean, I can try not, I'm going to try to hide it. So, yeah, you know, but we'll see if we can... There you go, rookie. Vancouver Canucks. And uh, this is a Vancouver Canucks pack. Nope, it's not. It is a Toronto Maple Leafs of Timothy Lejeren. A rookie card. 49 out of 49. Gary! With a sticker auto. Green parallel. Boom. 49 out of 49, man. Nice looking card. Nice looking cut. Thin card. It should fit right down under there like that. Done. In. Toronto Maple Leafs. Congratulations. And then Mari Lemieux. 492 out of 999 right behind him. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice looking card. So, Last card off the line. Mari Lemieux. Into here. Into there. Zoom, zoom, zoom. All right, four packs left, kind of working on it. Clear cut will be the last three boxes. There's only one card per box on those. Ryan Gesloff for the Ducks. Woo, look at that little pink stink. 310 out of 349. I smell a rookie of Peyton Krebs for the Vegas Golden Knights. Vegas Golden Knights, Michael N. There you go, sir. Took a big risk at him, and we pulled him a Krebs. That's awesome, man. 349, 310 out of 349, a pink parallel. Or as I know people would say, it's Rose. Exactly, Chewy. 101 of eBay. No, no, no. It's 101 of Makar, or Mercy. Matthew Kachuk, the Roaring Twenties. No, it's 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 one of one and pay twenty percent off of eBay is what it is nowadays. <laughs> one of one, but you're paying twenty percent. <laughs> eBay's done screwed themselves. They done they done done did them wrong. We got ourselves of VD Vancheck. Vic Vic Vancheck. Rookie Washington Capitals. And what we got behind there? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, folks. Oh, my goodness. Synergy Hockey. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? NHL Wild. Are you ready for it? Alexis Lafleur, 236 out of 449. One of the exceptional futures. Left wing... New York Rangers. Mm, no, I don't know what that card would be worth as an acetate card. There's only 449 of them made. Um, I'm not going to try to talk too much about it because I don't want no spittle going all over it. Wow. There's my Alexis. 
Alex, I found you again. Now go score some damn goals. NHL Wild Guy, congratulations, man. That's a nice little hit there. Pretty, pretty card. Pretty hit. Drew Dowdery right behind him. Stanley Cup Journey. 672 out of 799. Um, listen, his young guns goes for a thousand bucks. I can I'm thinking three, four hundred dollars for that card easy. So that's a nice Rangers hit. Um, and then I'm trying to think of the site where you can go. It's 180.com, I believe. Um, I talked about it tonight. So it's a place where you guys can go check out prices on eBay for boxes of cards and for sell, sold cards that have been on eBay and stuff like that. And they've got a really good sell list and they keep a really good database on it. And it shows you what it's sold for actually when you can't see it on eBay's. So Jean Gabriel Prau, Pregu. Uh, base card and then a Ryan what is up with this dude man look at this guy he's all up in this stuff 669 out of 749 if it would have came out 666 I would have thought the devil was in this box for a minute man the devil was in the details alright you next time you get up just get both items because you know you're going to need them that's a nice ranger little card so we were looking for. We were, I was hoping to pull him a series one. I really was. I was hoping to pull you a series one NHL. Wow, that would have been the, the cast me out for you. So, but we got you one. It got you something out of synergy, you know. But then again, people are like, "Oh, synergy sucks, man, guys, folks. Synergy does not suck. It's not a bad product." So, that one card that we got that's cut wrong. That's just that. That's a flaw that happened on it. So otherwise, these cards are cut pretty damn good. So. You know, Sidney Crosby, ten dollar card, easy. It's Crosby, so. And if you're like, oh no, it won't sell for that much because eBay doesn't sell it for that much, and da da da. That's where we got you guys. We got to go start changing up to eBay. Don't sell on eBay anymore. Don't give them your money. Don't give eBay the time of day. Don't give them anything that you want. So. Send your cards off to Com C, but they're still going to charge you the same thing. There's actually a company that you can go sell your cards at with right now, and I believe they don't do it really a big charge of interest charge. Um, and, or go to Facebook, Wendell Clark, Toronto. Oh, Shane Bowers, two twenty eight out of seven forty nine. Whoa, whoa, Colorado. Colorado. Chewy came in about Colorado last minute today. Picked him up. I believe it was today, right, Chewy? Nice little acetate hit. 228 at 749. That's a nice little hit for Bowers. Boom. Right behind him, we got Michael Del Pito for the Vancouver Canucks. 641 on 999. Goaltender action, Del Pito. Ironically, Del Pito fills a fatter card. So. Last pack of Synergy Hockey. Thanks for sticking around, folks, and watching the break tonight with me. I hope I'm hitting some hitting some fire for you. You know. Philip Borberg, another damaged card. So these ones are all coming out damaged. So Oilers, another damaged card for you. Sig, I believe it's a couple damaged cards for you. And it's like it's only one team that got damaged. So on the cut, knife went down, knife went out. The kid with the crayon decided to try to color it in. Oh, Joseph Wall, Toronto Maple Leafs, 572 out of 749. Goaltender action, little rookie. Right there. That's Gary, Toronto Maple Leafs. If he turns out to be a great goaltender, you guys. Oh, this one's got a bad cut on the lower left, lower right card. It's right there. It's a little bit edged out, so that sucks. But like I said before, Upper Deck is now basically to the point where they've got so many complaints about the cards that they're not even replaced. Instead of having you send the cards back, they're just saying, forget it. Here, here's the card. Hopefully this one will be better. So Shea Weber. I told him he need to start sending boxes from 1991 to people. 
<laughs> All-star Shea Weber defense. That's the last card out of that pack. So, all right, folks, that was that. That was those. So, some cool-looking cards. I love Synergy. Got some good-looking rookies. So, um, lots of lots of lots and lots and lots of plastic on that stuff. So, good-looking stuff. All right, you ready? Clear-cut hockey. Here we go. This is one hit, one wheel in wonder, sir. So, good luck to you all. Good luck to you all. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Come on, baby. What you gonna give us? Omni dom is anybody in the house eat domino? Philadelphia Flyers are on the board with the first clear cut hockey box. It is a black amber rookies of Joel Fabari, Philadelphia Flyers. NHL Wild Guy. There you go. You got yourself a Joel Fabulous. Black Amber. Good looking card. Congratulations. I have to say he kind of deserves it, folks, because he ended up buying the Rangers and really didn't get a young gun out of that box of Rangers. And the Rangers were the most expensive team out there. So getting him a clear-cut card, I'm kind of happy about that. So you ready for it? You ready for it? You ready for it? Boom! Oh my goodness! Are you kidding me? Really? Not? Not? What? Really? Really? A clear-cut Emilio Hasinkian for the Dallas Stars. Eight out of twenty-five embedded endorsements on Cardado. Dallas Stars. Wow. Yeah, wow, that's a, this is a really nice card for NHL Wild. Dallas Stars is Chewy, so Chewy in the Wild. Chewy in NHL Wild, you guys got the two cards there. Okay, last box, folks. Last box. Um, nothing too spectacular. I, I don't know, you know, I mean, then again, maybe the case wasn't going to be a spectacular master case, and, you know, that's, shoot, I don't know, man, but I don't want to say that kind of stuff. I don't want to lead you guys wrong, you know. You ready for it? You ready for it? Last box, clear cut, 1920. We only need three boxes here. I got another three boxes sitting on line. And it's a Detroit Red Wing. Oh, my goodness. Boom, a yeah. Taro, he rolls, and we laughed about it. And nobody wanted to take Detroit, and Chewy came in and take, took Detroit tonight. So Chewy, who bought a bunch of the teams in here, actually, the last three teams that went out the door actually got the hits tonight for this break. So Taro, he rolls, on-card autograph, rookie card, there you go. So, Chewy, you got two. NHL Wild, you got one. Everybody else got something in the middle between there. But you can see that's what the cards that came out of those clear cut. Um, folks, I'm thinking you need to go buy up the uh, other side and see what's in those other three boxes. And then I'm going to grab the other five and we'll put them up tomorrow and we'll see if we can work them out. Maybe a random teams might. Peace out. God bless. I'm going to end this recording here. I'm not going offline right now. But uh, yeah, let's go figure it out. Later, Gator.